In previous class, we have seen relational algebra and SQL queries. Today, we will start schema refinement. It is achieved by using normalization. We are done with conceptual design, logical design, and physical database design. Actually, in this database design process, after schema refinement, we need to implement physical database design. We are going to discuss what is data redundancy, what are the problems with data redundancy, then we will see all the normal forms 1NF, 2NF, 3NF, PCNF, 4NF and 5NF. Let us see the motivation for database normalization. Usually many designs are possible. How can we decide which design is good or which design is bad design? We have one theory called normal forms. This normal forms define guidelines for good design. Good designs effectively organize data in database. Main objective of normalization stated by EF code all the relations in database should be free from insertion, updation, and deletion anomalies. If we have anomalies in database, then there is a chance of data inconsistency. And second one is reduce the restructuring of the database tables. If new data comes, our table should accommodate the data without modification of table structure. Here also we are going to use same employee database. We already told that many designs are possible. One possible design is we can create single universal table to capture the information like this. Means capture this entire database information. We can create one single table. We can use this single universal table to capture all information for the database. Here for simplicity, I am not considering all attributes in this database. Here I am just considering some important attributes for employee, SSN, first name, uh, we did omit middle name and last name here and salary, super SSN and D number we are using for the employee entity. For department entity, department name, department number, manager SSN, uh, we just omit the department location there. For project, project number, project name, and number of hours, and we did omit the dependence information also. And all this information is the one possible instance for this database table employee. You can see here we have lots of redundancy. For example, for this employee Ahmad, we represented same information two times here. He is working for two different projects, computerization and new benefit. So we did repeat all this employee information in these two places for each of these projects. And you can see here this Franklin, he is working for computerization product Y, product Z and reorganization department. So we repeat the same information four times here. The main problem with above design is redundant data. Employee data is repeated for every project he or she is working for. Direct consequence of this redundancy is the data anomalies. In English, anomaly means something which is abnormal. In DBMS, data anomalies can be defined as problems that occur in poorly planned unnormalized database. This data anomalies will occur while inserting updating and deleting data into database tables. So because of this redundancy, there might be chance of all these kind of anomalies. Let's see insertion anomaly. For example, it is difficult to insert a new department that has no employees as yet in employee relation. Means we consider this universal employee table. Suppose if you want to insert new department, suppose department number 2 which is sales department. You cannot insert this data into this table because this table primary key is combination of this SSN and project number. We do not have any employee so for this department SSN value is not available so we need to keep it as null. The only way to do this to place null values in the attributes for employee. This violates the entity integrity for employee because primary key here is 
एस एस एन एंड पी नंबर सो प्राइमरी की कैन नॉट बी केप्ट एज नल इफ यू कीप दट एज नल इट वायलेट द एंटिटी इंटीग्रिटी सो अंटिल एंड अनलेस वी पास द इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर दिस प्राइमरी की वैल्यूज एस एस एन वी कैन नॉट एंटर डेटा इन टू डिपार्टमेंट टेबल दिस इज कॉल्ड इंसर्शन एंड मॉलिंग वी आर अनेबल टू एंटर डेटा इन टू टेबल बिकॉज ऑफ दिस कंस्टेंट लेट सी अपडेट एनामॉलिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रेज सैलरी फॉर employees who are working for project reorganization we must update the tuples of all employees who are working on that project otherwise database will become inconsistent we want to increase the employee salary who are working for this reorganization department here we have employee jennifer working for reorganization james and franklin suppose if we give 10% raise for this employee 4300 total salary will become 47300 how can we update by using this query alter employee set salary equal to 1.1 into salary where p name equal to reorganization then this three rows will be updated here this salary will be updated and for james also updated and for we are also updated but if you see here same franklin He is having salary with forty thousand in these three rows, but here you will get new updated salary. For Jennifer also, here you will get forty seven thousand three hundred. But if you see in this row, you will have salary forty three thousand only, which would be wrong. Means with our query, we will update these three rows, but same Franklin, you have two salaries here, updated salary, and within these three rows, you will have old salary. For Jennifer also, here you will have updated salary here, you will have old salary. This is the data inconsistency. We need to update all of these employee salaries who are working for reorganization department. If you did miss any one of them. Uh, then also data inconsistency will be there even if you update all of these three rows again for the same employee you have two different salaries this is also data inconsistency let's see deletion anomaly if you want to delete james from the table then department headquarters information will also be deleted from table let's see james he is working for headquarters no other employee is working for headquarters we want to remove this employee james he is the senior employee and uh, he is going to retire so we want to remove this james how you will delete james information delete from employee where f name equal to james then this tuple will be deleted from the database table employee then you will lose this headquarters information which is not captured anywhere in this table actually our intention is to delete this employee information james but here we lost the headquarters department information also we have all this kind of updation insertion and deletion anomalies so this kind of design is not good which is a bad design so we need to normalize this database by using normal forms let's see first normal form it states that domain of attributes must include only atomic values means in database table one cell should contain single value which should not contain multiple values but by default relational model does not allow multi valued attributes composite attributes and their combinations so every relation in relational model is in one nm let's see here suppose this department file which is located in these three locations but relational database does not allow this kind of multiple values in a single cell so to represent this kind of information one way is to just create three columns for this department locations location 1 location 2 location 3 so this department five locations can be represented like this but there is a problem with this kind of design suppose if some other department department 2 which is sales department which comes with four or five locations then you need to change this table structure you need to add two more columns here so this kind of design is also not good the better way is 
separate this department locations from this department table and include that in new table with primary key department number and remove this D locations from this table. Then if new department comes with five locations, just you need to include that foreign key that many times and you need to add the department location here. Just you need to write one time sales department here and other information. You can add more rows like this file research MGRSS and manager star date department location first location second location and third location here also we have redundancy it will violate the second normal form we will see that later so this design will be good